If you've clicked onto this video, then this lace knot pattern has caught your eye and you're wanting to learn how to make it. If so, then you're in for a treat today because not only will I be going through how to make this lace knot pattern, I'll also be going through some helpful, neat knotting tips as well as some special knot tying techniques to help improve your macrame skill set instantly. Nicole here from Bochi Knot and I'm here to share with you all about the ins and outs of macrame knots, patterns, and projects so that all you have to do is sit back, relax, and knot away. If you're not following us already, I'd recommend subscribing so that you get notified as soon as we release our latest and greatest tutorial weekly. Chances are, if you've clicked onto this video, then this particular lace pattern has caught your eye and you're wanting to learn how to make it. Going through how to make this lace knot pattern, I'll also be going through some helpful, neat knotting tips, as well as some special knot tying techniques to help improve your macrame skill set instantly. So if you're wanting to learn some new tips and tricks on how to make intricate knot patterns as well as how to make this beautiful lace knot pattern, then let's jump right in. Hey everyone, we're back at it with another intricate knot pattern tutorial. This time I will be making a double diamond pattern again with something different on the sides. The double diamond pattern that we're going to be making in this tutorial is going to be made slightly differently as well. We're going to start and end it differently. I'll walk you through how it's done. Essentially what you're going to see is curvy lines throughout the diamond pattern as we make it from top to bottom. Then we're going to have little alternating half hitch knot patterns on the side. So with that said, let's just get started so that you can see how it is made. So I am working on a vertical workstation here. I already have four strands of cord at 300 centimeters long, folded in half and attached here with lark's head knots. If you're not sure how to make a lark's head knot, I can link a video up here, but you should know the lark's head knot, double half inch knot and square knot before you attempt some of these more intricate knot patterns as a lot of these intricate knot patterns are more intermediate advanced level. So to begin, we're going to work with the middle two cords and we're going to take this, the middle right cord as the working cord. And we're going to make a double half hitch knot to the right. Now, a special tip I have when making double half hitch knots to make sure that they're nice and neat is to tighten every half hitch knot. So I've made two half hitch knots to form a double half hitch knot. So with every half hitch knot you make, tighten it first and then tighten the second one. And then you'll have nice even half hitch knots. Now, we're going to continue in a diagonal line towards the right sides, attaching all three of these cords on the right here onto this anchor cord with double half hitch knots. After every line of double half hitch knots are made, I usually pull on the anchor cord and then push the knots together so that they are nice and straight and are nice and neat. You get rid of the space in between the knots, pushing them together makes it look 
more straight and more neat. And then we're going to take that middle left cord as an anchor cord and then we're going to attach these three cords here onto this cord with double half inch knots. Now I forgot to mention the cord that I'm using in this pattern is our three millimeter single strand cord from our foundation cord line. This is a 100% natural organic cotton cord. I love it, it is my favorite cord because look how sturdy it is. It doesn't unravel and because it is natural cotton, there is a bit of cotton fuzz in between the fibers and that's what I think holds the individual fibers together more tightly so that it doesn't unravel super easily. If you guys are interested in checking out the cord, I'll tag a link in the video description below. And then we now have our upside down V-shaped pattern. So the top half of our first outer layer of the diamond pattern. So now we're going to start our second layer, the inner smaller diamond, and we're just going to separate out the far left two cords and the far right two cords because they are not part of the inner diamond. So starting off the pattern the same way, with the middle two cords, we are going to make a right facing diagonal double half inch knot, similar to how we started the diamond above. Make one more double half inch knot to the right. And then take that middle left cord and make one double half inch knot diagonally to the left. Okay, so now we're done the top part of our inner diamond and now we're going to close off the inner diamond first and then the outer diamond. So to do this, we're going to take the working cord on the left side, same working cord, same anchor cord, but we're going to make a diagonal double half inch knot to the right instead. Then do the same thing on the right. So now because we started off with a right facing double half inch knot, we're also going to finish off with the right facing double half inch knot to end the pattern here. So. And the inner diamond is now complete. Now we can take the outer cords back down and then we can close off the outer diamond. The inner diamond is small so you're not going to really see a clear cut diamond shape. It's more of an ovally type shape. 
but we can make the outer diamond with a more edgy shape to it so it will have corners if you want it to have corners. So on the left side we're going to start it the same way with the same working cord and anchor cord just in the opposite direction this time. So as you can see here, it's a clear direction towards the other way. Then take the next cord to the right and make one more double half inch knot. And this is where we're gonna stop the pattern here. As I was saying before, we're gonna start the pattern a certain way and end the pattern a certain way. And so right now I'm showing you guys how we are making this diamond pattern so that you can make it the same way throughout all of the diamonds, as many diamonds as you want underneath. So now on the right side, we are also going to make two double half fish knots first. Now when you're making diamond patterns, when you're tightening the bottom section here, do be careful not to tighten the anchor cord and pull on it too much because if you do pull on it too much, you can see because it's connected to the top row, it will get rid of that edge that you want on the sides to define the diamond shape. Okay, so to close off the double diamonds here, we're going to finish it off sort of the way we started the double diamond up at the top. So at the middle right section here, we're actually going to continue this line here just like at the top. It's continued from the top, so we're just going to make one more diagonal double half inch knot to the right. And then because we started the next diamond here, that means we're going to take that middle left cord as an anchor cord, take that next cord after for a diagonal double half inch knot to the left. And so what we basically just did is to end the double diamond pattern, we had started the next section already. And now for the sides of the pattern, what we're going to do is make a few alternating half inch knots. So on the left side, take the left two cords. We're gonna start with the right cord as the working cord, make a half hitch knot. So put it through the loop and then tighten, alternate working cords after that. Take the left cord and then do this three more times. Okay, now taking that anchor cord right there and the working cords there, make two double half inch knots to the left. Now you can start down here first. And then you can push the double half inch knot once you've made it up to meet the same row once you're done. Take the other cord and then do the same thing. And then now we're essentially going to do the same thing on the right side, mirroring what we just did on the right. So 
take the left cord, start the five alternating half hitch knots. Now we're going to attach both cords onto the middle right anchor cord with double half hitch knots. Okay. And now we have started the top part of the next diamond pattern. And now you're ready to make this smaller inner diamond, same way we have made it up the top. So make the inner diamond and then we'll come back to this pattern. So now that the inner diamond is complete, you can now finish the outer diamond the same exact way we had finished the diamond above. So we're just going to close off with two double half hitch knots on both sides first. Okay, so once the outer diamond is complete here, for the second diamond, we are going to start our third one. It's kind of closing off the second one by starting the next one. And what we're going to do is we're going to continue the row of double half hitch knots here. So as you can see, I was talking about it before where you're going to see some curvy double half hitch knot lines. You can see that there's this S shaped pattern that runs all the way through on this side. And you're just going to continue seeing that as we go down with the diamond patterns. So we're going to start our next one here with a double half fish knot to the right. And then on the left, so what we're going to do, one on the right, and then one on the left. So that's an anchor cord. This is a working cord. We're basically going the opposite direction. So you have it started. Now we can make our five alternating half hitch knots on both sides. And then we can attach them here and then start another diamond pattern underneath. So I'm going to make a few more so that you can see what it looks like once that's done. Okay, here is the pattern after I've made a total of four double diamonds. Once you get to the very end, the very last double diamond and you wanna close it off, we're just gonna close it off like how we had started and not starting another double diamond underneath. So what we're going to do here is on both sides, make a double half hitch knot towards the center. Tighten the double half hitch knot rows on both sides. And then finish off with one more double half hitch knot. And because we started facing the right, we're going to end facing the right. And so this is going to be the anchor cord. And we are now complete. Now intricate knot patterns can be made with various different macrame knots, but one particular knot that I believe is the most versatile knot of them all is the double half hitch knot. 
You'll see the double half-inch knot is used in a lot of intricate designs, especially when it comes to creating textured designs, 3D designs, or even say unique knot patterns. If you're interested in taking a simple knot like the double half-inch knot and creating elaborate designs with it, then you may be interested in joining us over on the Bochi Knot Macrame community on Patreon, where we are specifically focusing on intricate knot work this month. If you're interested, head on over to patreon.com slash for more details. I hope you guys enjoyed this new way of making a double diamond pattern, as well as including the alternating half-inch knots on the side to create a lace effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know in the comment section below, but also give this video a big thumbs up so that I know to make more videos just like this. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.